Did you know that you can buy a brand new computer for only $35? I'm not quite talking about a desktop or a laptop with all the bells and whistles. I'm talking about the little single computerized board known as the Raspberry Pi, a credit card shaped device with so many uses that it may actually make your head explode. Well, not really. At first glance, the Raspberry Pi doesn't seem very impressive, especially when you get to the spec sheet. You get a quad-core ARM CPU that doesn't support all the same information as a normal desktop or a laptop, one gigabyte of RAM, four USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI port, an Ethernet jack, a microSD slot for storage, wireless and Bluetooth, and a 3.5mm combine video and headphone jack. You can try to use the Pi as a general purpose PC for web surfing and YouTube and whatnot, but I don't really recommend this because the default Linux distro that services as the Pi's operating system, Pixel, isn't that great for everyday use. But what really makes the Pi interesting is not only a couple of slots for mounting a small camera and an LCD display like something you would find in a digital camera, but the 40 pin general purpose input and output or GPIO, which allows you to connect the Pi to anything from weather stations to robots. This functionality was originally built into the Pi so it could be used for teaching programming and computer science to students. Imagine a DIY media stick with more power and options than the Apple TV or a Chromecast, thanks to open source media center OSs like Kodi. Or you can make a cheap home server solution when it connect a USB stick or an external drive to your Raspberry Pi. If you're looking for something beyond the realm of everyday computing, you can buy special cameras for the Pi and have a simple home surveillance server. You can hook it up to your home's entrance to create a smart door lock or even make your own Amazon Echo or Google Home. Projects range from pet feeders to real working food dispensing robots to even Raspberry Pi controlled drones. But I'd be neglectful if I didn't mention the Raspberry Pi's gaming potential. I mean, no, you're not going to be able to run Fallout at max settings. But it turns out that the Pi is a great platform for retro games of all sorts. As open source projects like RetroPie are able to run games for everything from MAME arcade cabinets to the Nintendo 64. Many users have even gone as far as to build custom enclosures for the Pi, turning it into a fully portable retro gaming machine, supporting more consoles than you would find at your local retro game store. Of course, a lot of those projects require you to have a little patience and learning a thing or two about Linux, but with over 10 million Raspberry Pi shipped since its debut in 2012, even kids are producing some really cool projects. There's nothing stopping you from making something crazy as your own Fallout Pit Boy, especially if there are plenty of custom cases, accessories, and how-to guides online. Did you like that tutorial? Well, here's some other tutorials for you to consider. I worked really hard for to get these things out to you guys and make them as simple as possible, so go ahead and give it a view. Some of them have really good comment section down below. 